Yo, yo, check this out. Look, and let's see if you could be honest. Because sometimes a lot of people, they have a hard time with honesty. So I need you to watch what we're about to watch. And this is what I was into today. And tell me what's going through your mind. What are you thinking exactly, if anything? Right? Uh, and if you've never been in a situation where you've been arrested or handcuffed, it's all good. Uh, being in jail or being a prisoner does not make you a tough guy or an upstanding, uh, like a real man. Or You get it? I know people that never been in them situations and they just as bold and cold as a person who has. For whatever that means to you, let's watch this. And tell me what's going through your mind when you see this. Sometimes you got to take five minutes out your time. You could watch something in those five minutes that'll give you back the rest of your life. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but thank you for tuning in to On The Lockout. Let's get to it. <laughs> this is crazy, my dude. Watch. Restraint goes back centuries. Handcuffs were originally a loose device until 1862, when adjustable ratchets were added. They allow the cuffs to snugly grip the suspect's wrists. When a committed, a slap on the wrists usually isn't enough. It's time to handcuff them. Oh! When they put the handcuffs on, you know you're in a tight situation. That's foul. He just said when they put the handcuffs on, you know you're in a tight situation. Why you gotta do it like that though, bro? This is this handcuffs start with a roll of steel. A machine pulls it through a straightener and then through a die that punches out a handcuff frame part. A revolving barrel cage sifts out the waste and kicks the frames into a bin. Here, a worker stacks U-shaped steel parts on a fixture, which he then clamps into a machine. A cutter makes ratchet teeth in the parts. Coolant keeps the tool from heating up and getting too soft to do the job. Each set of handcuffs will have two of these ratchets. Next, they load steel rods into a slowly revolving device. It moves the rods through a series of cutters. This is how they make swivels for the handcuffs. They round the tips of the rods and then carve necks below. This tool slices the swivel to the proper length. And then the partially finished swivel falls into a basket. Next, a drill works on the rounded tip, scooping out the center. And now you have a finished swivel. They take two chain links and two swivels. They make a small chain, two links with swivels on the ends. They lock the links and the swivels together. And now the swivel link assembly is complete. The swivels will provide some rotational freedom between the cuffs. Now it's complete. <laughs> now you go to jail, you heard? Like, <laughs> now you get incarcerated with these. This is sad because these things are used on our people by the thousands on a daily basis. Who created these things? Do you know? If they don't weld the links together, the prisoner could have total freedom. Oh, God forbid the prisoner has total freedom. <laughs> he wouldn't be a prisoner, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to assemble the handcuffs. They install studs in the outer framework and attach the ratchets to them. The swivel link fits into the little grooves in the framework. 
they hammer the inner frame on and then fit the top and bottom assemblies together. A tap with the hammer holds them loosely together. Then a press bears down to make a tight seal. These cuffs look complete, but they aren't quite ready for a life of crime. They need to be toughened up. So they spend 25 minutes in a furnace, and the searing heat hardens the steel. This is the pole, a spring-loaded bar that will engage the teeth of the ratchet. They lock the pole and spring in place. A press pushes pins into the assembly to hold everything in position. Then they stamp serial numbers onto each set of handcuffs so that the police can keep track of them. Now the handcuffs shake in a vibrating bin full of stones. This polishes the rough edges. It's time for the ultimate test. They activate a 500 pound pull. That's 228 kilograms in metric. And the handcuffs remain strong. They also tap each set to make sure the ratchets drop freely. Handcuffs are temporary restraints and most can be opened with a universal key. They pack two with each set, along with the instructions. There's no doubt they'll have a captive market, because there's always someone who needs to be locked up. Yo, my dude said they got a captive market because there's always someone that needs to be locked up. That's crazy. You just did you just see all that, bro? The way that's really made, bro? That's crazy. This is the first time I see it. Like, I think I saw some of it like super years ago, but I didn't even pay it no mind like I do now. Like, right? But it's crazy. Sometimes we gotta see things like this, believe it or not, some people like. To be like, yo, right now, you don't want to be in them handcuffs, you heard? <laughs> Word. If you saw it to the end, drop a... What you was thinking while you was watching that? Like, or after? Like, what that makes you think about? What, what goes through your mind? Like, I don't know. Like, a lot of things go through my mind. I was thinking about when I was locked up, every time them handcuffs were placed on me. How tight they put them. Like, I still got marks from handcuffs from <laughs> a few months ago. I don't know if you guys remember that. But it's sad, man. Super sad. Again, who invented these handcuffs? Like, do you know the person's name? Anybody? Because I honestly don't know. And who was he? Was he black? Was he white? Thank you for tuning in to On The Lockout, man. This is what I was just watching right now in my house, chilling, and I'm posting this right now, so it'll be up <laughs> like in five minutes. But then again, there are also those who deserve their freedom. Oh, yeah. 